Hi, I'm Lisa Butterworth. You may also know me as Kenzie. I'm a henna artist living in Brooklyn, New York, and I've been doing henna and teaching henna for about 15 years. Today's class is about the draping method, and I'm going to talk to you about that and also do a demo. So what is the draping method? Some of you may have learned henna by drawing with the tip right on the skin. Um, the draping method basically anchors the paste to the skin and then you kind of lift up and drag the line out and then lay it down, essentially draping it. This is a very common technique for people who use jacquard bottles, but can also be done with a cone. I'm going to demonstrate this technique using both tools. So why would you want to use the draping technique? Well, in my opinion, it gives you really nice, clean lines, which I think are essential for doing beautiful henna. It's also really useful when you're doing Moroccan henna because it helps you draw those long, clean, and straight lines that are really important for geometric Moroccan henna. In addition to giving you clean lines when you're drawing straight lines, you can also use the draping technique to create curved lines. That's a little bit trickier, but I will also show you that towards the end of the class. So let's get started with the demo of line draping. So the draping technique requires that you have control over the flow of your paste from whatever tool you're using. Control of it when it first comes out, so to avoid that blob at the beginning of your line, and also control throughout the drawing of the line so that you don't have any breaks in your line. The great thing about the draping technique is that practicing it will help you develop control over the paste. It's a great way to practice just being a henna artist. So I'm going to demonstrate this with the J bottle. So um, first, of, first of all, you start with your tool hovering over the spot where you want to start drawing. And then slowly squeeze out the henna. And you want to just anchor that little bit right there. And then as you pull, you're squeezing. So you'll get a steadier line. I'm doing it with my wrist, but you'll get a steadier line if you actually cl um, click and drag, um, anchor and pull, and move your whole arm. So you can see I have some breaks in there. I need to work on my technique. So again, you just anchor your line and drag. And then at the end, you can just touch down. Um, you can also, at the end, just let it drop like that and stop the flow. And then you'll get a nice clean break. You can also go to the end of the line and just touch down and stop the line. So whatever works for you, you can use. All right, so let's do it with the cone. I'm not as good with the cone. I'll just warn you in advance. I'm a lifelong J-Bottle user. So again, you just anchor the henna and then just keep a steady pressure and pull your henna out. See, I told you I'm not as good. But this is probably a good way to practice at um, being good at the cones. So just work on keeping the pressure up and draping that line. And then again, you just touch down to finish your line. So um, again, let me just reiterate, just let the henna come out very slowly. You want to work at not getting that blob at the beginning of the line and then just pull right away and draw your line. And then as you practice, you can do longer and longer lines without a break. Whoops. So you want to practice getting the longest line you can without a break. Just challenge yourself to do that. Mm. Once you get good at drawing straight lines and drawing long straight lines without a break, it's time to start drawing curves with the drape method. So I'm going to do it with a bottle since I clearly am better at that than I am with the cone. So again, I'm anchoring the tip very close to the skin, just like with the line, but right away I bring the bottle up and I'm just I'm kind of just moving my wrist kind of swiveling at the wrist to do this and just laying down that line you can see that it gives you a really nice clean line um, and it makes it pretty easy to do so um, that's 
one thing you can do, this is a nice little parlor trick. I love doing this for clients because they're always kind of amazed. Um, and you will get there too. So um, you can also do this and do a paisley the same way. So I like to start right at that spiral and then just curve around and draw my paisley and then bring it back. And see how I'm just lying laying the line down on top of the other line. That way you get that nice clean flow. And I can see from a 3D that it's a little bit higher, but I still get that nice clean join. I don't get like a blob that shows where the join is. So again, um, you need to keep steady pressure on the bottle and a steady movement with your arm and, um, and you will get these nice clean lines with this draping method. Thanks again for watching. Please leave any comments below if you have any comments about what I taught you or any questions, please let me know. Also, if you have any requests for future henna tutorials, please also put that in the comments and I will do my best to uh, make some new videos for you. Thank you again and come visit me at Kenzie.com. Bye!